This final series of six animations introduces the difficult process of how the image of an enormous number of dipoles in three-dimensional space is created from the sing single signal that is their total summation. Here we use the strategy of divide and conquer to reduce the problem from three dimensions to two. To do this, a small additional magnetic field with a known gradient is briefly added to the main static magnetic field. The gradient is such that when the patient lies in the scanner, the total field at the head is slightly larger than the field at the feet. This gradient changes the resonance condition such that when the 90 degree RF pulse is applied to flip the spins, it only resonates or interacts with a smaller slab of volume oriented perpendicular to the main magnetic axis. In this animation, a faded figure represents a patient lying in the scanner along the magnetic field. The gradient is indicated by the overlaid blue graph showing the linear diagonal line. A representative three-dimensional array of 4x4x7 four by four by dipoles is shown as purple arrows. The left panel displays a group of timelines. Note that the 90 degree RF power is applied at a specified frequency shown, for example, initially 63 MHz, such that only the slice of 4x4 dipoles enclosed by the purple rectangle meet the resident condition, couple with the RF, and flip their spins. All of the other remaining spins are not involved and can be neglected. The spins are then allowed to T1 decay, and the process is exactly repeated six more times, except that the 90 degree RF frequency is slightly changed each time. For example, the second time to 63.001 MHz. Then a different slice of 4x4 dipole flips their spins, decays, and so on. By systematically varying the resonant condition, the entire volume can be subselected one slab at a time. The resonant condition is indicated by the vertical and horizontal lines on the graph.